Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week's overview. During this week, we'll be talking about Chapter 19, Waste Management. Firstly, we are going to talk about Lesson 19.1, Municipal and Industrial Waste. What is waste? Any unwanted material or substance that results from a human activity or process. Municipal solid waste from homes and businesses, industrial waste resulting from manufacturing, agriculture, and mining, hazardous waste, toxic, reactive, flammable, and corrosive, and wastewater includes used, discarded water, and runoff. Methods of solid waste disposal. Firstly, we have the sanitary landfills. Waste buried in the ground or carefully piled into mounds, designed to prevent groundwater contamination and minimize soil and air pollution. We have here methane gas recovery well. Also, we have here soil, solid waste, and we have treatment system. We have aquifers. We have compacted uh, impermeable clay, plastic liner, gravel, and granule drainage layer. Benefits and costs of landfills. The benefits, the decomposition yields methane, which can be used like natural gas. When full landfills are caped, the land can be used for recreation. Also, we have the leachate may eventually escape and contaminate the groundwater. Trash decomposes very slowly and few communities are willing to host landfills. Then we have the incineration process that in a waste energy facility, solid waste is burned at extremely high temperatures, heating water in a boiler, turning it to a steam. Then we have the turbine, the generator, and the steam turns a turbine which powers generator to create electricity. And also in an incinerated outfit which with pollution control technology, toxic gases produced by combustion are mitigated by a scrubber. Airborne particulate matter is filtered physically in a bag house before air is emitted from the stack. Benefits and cost of incineration. The benefit incinerating waste reduces its weight by up to 75% and volume by up to 90%. Heat from burning trash can be used to generate electricity as waste to energy. The cost that toxic ash must be disposed of and dioxins, heavy metals, and PCBs can be created and released by burning waste. Waste reduction methods, we have the substitute dispose, uh, disposable goods with reusable ones, donate unwanted items, minimize packaging, reduce use of non-biodegradable plastic, design good to last, and use financial incentives such as pay as you throw garbage disposal and bottle bins. Waste recovery, we have composting that conversion of organic waste into mulch or humans or humus by decomposition. Currently, 3,800 municipal programs in the U.S. has many benefits, including soil enrichment. The recycling process that the collection and reprocessing of waste material recycling rates among U.S. Commu uh, communities vary from 5% to 50%, and many programs run at a financial loss, but that doesn't take into account the effects of not recycling. We are going to understand this and much more.